Hey, what is good? What is good? What is good, beautiful people? Of course, you know who I is. The good Doc, Dr. Mike, back again once again with another classic. And the Doc means classic, classic, classic video for the ass today. First time to the channel. Like, subscribe. Everything you need to know about me should be listed in the link in the description area below. Podcast, the whole nine, ebooks, you name it, it's all listed in the link in the description area below. Doc is in a new setting right now, just visiting some friends. So, I felt like this video was necessary. Just wanted to let y'all know that I was visiting some friends. Um, <laughs> I was watching my, one of my favorite YouTubers, my big brother, O'Shea Duke Jackson. And on his channel, he has this series about women who have hit the wall, but are still entitled, right? Find it funny. He knows I love his shit. Much love to my big brother. Um, but in watching those particular series that he's making on this particular topic... I often wondered, in my personal opinion only, I'm not saying that I speak for everybody else, but in my own personal opinion, I often wondered why Asian women in general don't quite hit the wall like everyone else. Now, I'm not just speaking specifically from women in Western worlds, I mean Europe or whatever it may be. I'm also talking about women in the Middle East. I'm talking about women from most, for the most part all over, with the exception of Latin America, because I kind of feel like maybe, just maybe, they're on the same wavelength as far as how they hit the wall, if they hit the wall. But like I said, I was wondering why they don't seem to hit the wall like everyone else. So me and my dumbass trying to logically explain this off, I've come up with a couple of reasons why I personally believe that Filipinas and probably Latin American women in this particular video don't quite hit the wall like everyone else. And here they go. <sighs> Number one, their diet. Okay, now, in hindsight, you guys who lived in the Philippines, you guys know, sometimes the food and the dieting is not always the best. But what I've learned throughout my experiences living in the Philippines, what I can honestly say is that the majority of the food in the country is super fresh. Like, super, super fresh. The vegetables, the fruits, the meats, things like that are super fresh. You know, there's no in-between when it goes to the market. Sometimes they chop it up, you know, they'll get it packaged and they send it out. So there's very few steps that it goes. There aren't any GMOs likely sometimes injected into foods and stuff like that. You know, thinking about that and then thinking about how it is in the United States, where in most of the food that we consume has some type of chemical or something in it that is messing it up or keeping it fresh or preserving it for longer periods of time, it actually does lead to women aging a little bit differently in the Western world than they probably do in a place like Asia. You know, a lot of things in Asia are a lot, of, lot more fresh. Even if they're probably not the best foods for you to consume, it does seem to be a lot more fresher in Asia than it is in places like the United States and probably other areas that are considered to be of the Western world. So that's number one, dieting. All right, and number two, <laughs> there is no easy way for me to say this because probably the way it's going to come out is going to be considered mad or somebody going to be mad about it one way or another. But the ideology about having kids, okay, now in this particular perspective, this is probably one of very few perspectives wherein I think that women in the Western world, more particularly a specific group of women, and women in the Philippines more specifically in the Philippines, because I'm keeping it along that line, are alike. Because <sighs> a lot of women in the Philippines do have kids out of wedlock, all right? They do have kids out of wedlock. The only thing about um, them having kids out of wedlock in certain group of women in the Western world or women in the Western world, period, is normally, nine times out of ten, when it's a Filipina having a kid out of wedlock, they normally have all of their kids with one guy. Most of the time. Most of the time, it's one guy parenting like five fucking kids. In the United States, is one woman having three or four baby daddies. You understand? So we're not going to get into all of that. But in how I related to hitting the wall, I understand that there are single mothers everywhere that you go. But the single mothers that you're going to deal with in the Philippines are just a lot different than the single mothers that you're going to deal with in the United States or in the Western world. Again, speaking along the lines of entitlement, it's there. They're going to tell you that you have to come to the table with this. You have to come to the table with that. You have to do this. You have to do that. Yet and still, 
you're a single mother of three kids with three different baby daddies and you're expecting all of this from me, right? But what the hell am I supposed to expect for you? Nothing just to be there? You know, you understand how that doesn't really correlate. In the Philippines, however, these women are on the quite other end of the spectrum, in my personal opinion, because they're not expecting a lot from you. Yeah, they might want you to take care of them, but they are damn sure going to do what they have to do to make sure that you're happy enough to take care of those three kids. They're going to do whatever it takes to hold on to you. I promise you, they're going to do whatever it takes to hold on to you in order for you to take care of them kids. I mean, whatever it takes, the cooking, the cleaning, you name it, they're going to do whatever it takes. If they need somebody to help support them in any way, shape, or form, they're going to do it. If we speak about the Asian perspective of hitting the wall, like I said, dieting, and as far as kids out of wedlock, I'm not really seeing that a lot in a lot of other countries, in you know Asian countries like Japan, but I haven't lived there. So maybe you guys know more about that than I do in those particular areas. So if you do, comment down below. All right, so as we move on, to the whole hitting the wall spectrum and how it relates to um, women in Asia not hitting the wall like women in Western worlds, I often think about how we we give a lot of credit to women in the West, in the um, in the East and how they are personality wise. Like I said, bringing it back into what we've just said, um, you know, personality wise, they are willing to take care of you a whole lot more. I'm not saying that rule applies to all of them but for the most part they are willing to do their partner relationship and sometimes women in the western world just are not you understand and that's really a perspective that really sucks okay um i met a girl and i've mentioned this in a video before actually one of my one of my more popular videos videos i actually mentioned this and i know a young lady she's from out of the state she's from like she's from germany sweet young lady i like her a lot she's sweet um and she's she's mixed, but her skin color is more tan, not dark like myself, but she's more tan. So in hindsight, her moving to the United States, she would probably automatically be looked upon or viewed as a black woman. That's just what I'm going to say. And she's constantly telling me how black women don't like her because of, you know, how she is and how she was raised and how she, you know, takes care of her men and does things like this. I'm like... I'm going to be honest with you, the reason why they probably don't like you as much is because you're outdoing them or you're outshining them or you're doing more than they believe that you have to do, especially in the relationship with your man, and they just don't agree with the way that you're doing things. They think that men have to cater to you from the beginning to the end of time, and they don't have to put in any effort or anything to actually bring anything to the relationship. And she was like, yeah, I understand that, and I think that is ignorant. I said, thank you very much. She said, I think that it's kind of dumb to have that thought process. I'm like, thank you very much. Somebody that, could, that we could really you know, vibe with, somebody that could really be on our team and on our page. And I'm noticing that a lot with a lot of women from overseas. I'm not here to make this video about oh uh, why guys should date women abroad. That's not my that is not my call. You date who you want to date. I'm not making a case for them, but I am making a case for them without making a case for them. If you feel what I'm saying, so I say that to say this, ladies and gentlemen, women all hit the wall at different times and different spaces and different <laughs> points in time. But when women do hit the wall. I don't really think I have to give an example. Oh, I mean, he'd give the definition of hitting the wall. But if I do, uh, just a young lady who was well past her prime and past her uh, maybe physical um, ability to attract men anymore, or they're just not attractive to men like they once were at a particular point in time. When you do come across women like that, it's just a, <laughs> it's a clusterfuck. And I've learned over time that I know I'm, I'm rambling, so I'm going to go ahead and knock this one out because I think I've lost my train of thought on where I want to take it. But there's a lot of different ways to take it. Just trying to be respectful for the good doc and his channel. But what I do want to say is they hit the wall at different periods of time in life. And when they do hit the wall, some of them just haven't recognized it or they just haven't noticed it. All right. So. Sometimes you got to bring them back to reality. Some guys like older women because, hey, they feel like they're easier to get with. I want to note that sometimes they like older women because they're just into older women. However you deem necessary, you handle it the way that you want to. But I want to know why you possibly believe that Asian women or Filipino women or however you want to see it don't quite hit the wall like everybody else. All right. Tried to make this video the best way I know how. But, of course, I probably missed out on a lot of key points. All right. Cause I had to rush this one because I got to go. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, the good doc is officially out. I at least knuckle by alum, which means I am going now. Bye-bye. As always, love you guys. Ma'akita. Mabuhay.
Peace.